Wait, wait, stop, 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 stop. What the bloody hell's going on here? Well, if you'd care to indulge me for a few moments, I shall tell you. Hello and welcome back to the channel. Now, I imagine you'd like me to explain what the arse is going on in that little intro, so explain I shall. At the start of the year, I signed up for a ultra white collar boxing event. Uh, which would take place in Belfast on the 23rd of March to raise money for Cancer Research UK. Primarily because it's something that my family has been affected by, as I'm sure uh, a lot of you watching have been affected by cancer, so I figured this would be a good thing to do uh, to kind of raise money for Cancer Research UK and to also kind of uh, test myself and see uh, what my sort of limits were. So what happens with this sort of event? Well, I shall bloody well tell you. So you go along to the induction night where they kind of tell you what's going to happen, what's going to take place over the next eight weeks because the training is over eight weeks, two nights a week, and then obviously leads up to the fight itself. For us, training took place on a Monday and a Wednesday night uh, in Belfast, which is fine, all very well and good, uh, despite the fact that I live here and training would take place here. So yeah, a bit of a pain in the arse to get to, truth be told. Although none of that really mattered considering what we were all pushing and working towards. So the first few weeks of training were general sort of fitness, cardio, and then technique, how to throw a punch, how to dodge, a couple of combinations, that sort of carry on. And then for the last few weeks, we would just be sparring, uh, getting used to being punched in and around the facial sort of region. So what actually happens on fight day? Well, we arrived at the venue around two, half two, where we underwent a quick medical examination. And then it was just a case of getting ready, getting changed, and then keeping hydrated, keeping warm, uh, before the event started. The event was meant to start around half five, although for some reason it got delayed to about a quarter past six, where we all came down into the ring, were paraded in front of everyone, uh, and then the actual fights themselves started. Each fight would be three two minute rounds, and the winner would be predicated by referee's decision, stoppage, all the usual sorts of stuff. So I've chatted enough. Without much further ado, here is my ultra white color boxing Scrap. You join me at ringside, uh, watching me talking about watching me. I don't know, it's very strange. It's, uh, it's a time paradox for any MGS3 fans kicking about. Fight number 19 of the night. So this was around, let's say, half nine, quarter to ten-ish. Uh, the event was a bit late in starting, so it was going on a bit longer than anyone does. But here is my opponent getting into the ring, fighting out of the red corner. I'd never actually sparred with him before, uh, or I didn't even know who I was fighting up until uh, earlier on in the day, because I couldn't make it to the matchup night. So it was a uh, it was a surprise to see who I was fighting, and I was I'd, so an unknown commodity uh, with with my opponent. And oh no, here he comes! Here comes the man we've all been waiting to see. This absolute mountain of a man. God, it's embarrassing. I haven't actually watched this whole fight back before uh, before this because uh, I've only skimmed through it uh, because I don't want to embarrass myself. Look at him there. Raise the arm. Oh, you div. What are you doing? Uh, coming out to BFG Division from Doom, uh, thanks to the, the brother's suggestion. Who is actually filming this? So cheers, Dean. Uh, there you go. You've got your shout out. So yes, after sparring up uh, upstairs before the start of the fight with, uh, with the trainer, uh, he was saying, look, 
No, this made me feel so happy. It's like you're, you've got good reach and your right hand is pretty powerful. So in the first 10 seconds of the fight, go out there, hit him with a 1-2, hit him with that right hand, and as soon as you hit him with that right hand, he'll know that you're there. So that was my my intention as the ref doing his job, doing a very good job, as he did the whole night with every single fight, making sure everyone is all well and good. There we go. Let's get the formalities out of the way. And here we go. We go in, touch gloves, back in the corner, and the fight is on. So like I say, I was trying to get that right hand. There we go, and I didn't connect. I was like, oh no, there's a very good chance that I will not be able to, to connect with that. So there you go, it's a wild shot early on. The thing that I realised early on is that it was going to be extremely difficult. He was extremely quick. And then the first, he gets me in the body there, I miss again. I'm trying to kind of create a bit of distance and move it a lot. There we go, first shot, he absolutely rocks me with that first shot, rocks me again. And that, <laughs> I'm standing there thinking, holy Christ, that, that absolutely, I was not expecting that sort of power at all. And he's, uh, yeah, seeing, uh, seeing stars. And I think at this point, no, I'm not making excuses because he's, the. Uh, because there's no excuses to make, as you can see, he's uh, even in the early going that he's uh, he's clearly the superior fire. Uh, one knocked a contact lens out, and so I'm like, and there we go. Now this bit really irritated me because he caught me with a shot early on, and it moved my head guard. And uh, so I was like, "Could you fix my head guard, please?" And I, was, I heard a saw guy in the front row boo, and I was like, "Dude, chill out." Uh, the, the the yeah, it was it moved around slightly, so it was it was a bit more uncomfortable. Don't know what the ref's getting at there. There we go. Land body shot. Not probably not the the hardest shot he's ever felt in his life, but there we go. He caught me again. I'm trying. I'm trying to get near him, but I just can't get anywhere near. And I oh god, I look so I look like Bambi on ice trying to get around here. He looks so composed. And there we go. That is the end of the first round. He is clearly winning the first round. So there we go. Sit on the stool. Get talked to. And there's the the ring lady who, my word, they had a they had a very. If I could get paid for this sort of work, I absolutely bloody well would. Although I don't think I could stand up in those shoes. Uh, see, he's been. I'm just being told now. Calm down, breathe, take your time. Try and get in close to him. And once you fire off a right, then you should be fine. But it's like I can't get anywhere near him, which is uh, which is rather irritating. So yeah, it was a uh, three. It was billed as three two-minute rounds with a one-minute interval uh, in between. So here we are, get the water in. And I was like, I saw my contact lens like right in the corner. I was like, mate, could you, any chance you could put that lens back in for me? He's like, no, that's gross. Uh, it's it's on the canvas and I'm not touching that, nor am I going anywhere near your eye. So I was like, all right, fair enough. So here we go, round two, getting ready to go. Me trying to look intimidating in some sort of way. Get the gum shield in. There we go. So I thought I thought my biggest issue would be oh god he comes right out from the start absolutely bitten the head off me. <laughs> yeah I stand no chance. I turn my back and the referee says don't turn your back otherwise uh, because obviously no shots in the back of the head. Oh. Counting me out. He's counting me out. It says it's fine. There we go. <laughs> Part of me was kind of hoping like please stop it. But I was determined. I was. I wasn't even tired. My plan. I, I thought I was going to get absolutely gassed going in. There we go. I'm trying to mount some sort of comeback, and it's just not going well at all. Back into the corner, getting counted out again. And he is rightfully, uh, <laughs> rightfully uh, showboating. There we go. Ref counting it out, counting it down, and I think this is the point. Yep. Waves off the fight. He thinks, sir, you're getting absolutely wrecked, and I was gutted, I was absolutely gutted at this stage because I wanted to at least make it out of, make it three rounds uh, I was so angry, I was I was pretty disappointed at the, I was like, I was, at, the, at, at that point I was like, at the ref I was really angry but uh, it, looking back obviously he's made the right choice clearly he's made the, the right decision uh, it is a charity event after all and it's to protect the fighters none of us are professional so there's no point in going buck mad and pride heals faster than a broken nose as, uh, as someone would say. And there we go, we're doing the, the formalities, uh, even though I don't really think it's necessary. And uh, there we go, announced the victor. 
in the most one-sided boxing match you will ever see. And there we go. See, and he was a lovely chap as well, so I couldn't even be angry at him. <laughs> he was a really nice guy. And there we go, get the obligatory pictures with uh, with the, the very... The, the ladies who, God love them, they could they could do me a sandwich. So there we go, not exactly the result I was after. I was kind of hoping I'd at least make it into the third round, but in the end up the referee made the right decision. I was completely outclassed and I was up against a much better man. Uh, the referee made the decision to stop it. Fair play to my opponent Dominic, who was, he was the much better fighter on the night. Uh, completely outclassed me. Uh, I don't begrudge him the victory at all. There's no ill will there at all. He absolutely deserved to win it. After the fight, I went upstairs, got ch got changed, came back downstairs, and I saw my family and my friends who came along. And uh, to be, I got very emotional afterwards. To be fair, uh, I felt like I'd let uh, I'd let everyone down, uh, which is ridiculous because you know, obviously, obviously not. But I was very disappointed. I was very disappointed with my performance. But it's you know, it's you're you're very self-critical, aren't you? You're 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 your worst critic. And, uh, but this was after the after all that kind of wore off, and I was driving home that night. Uh, it kind of dawned on me that it's like you know it doesn't matter. It really didn't matter at all. Uh, the the whole point of the thing was to raise money for Cancer Research UK, and raise money we did. By golly, in the end, our group ended up raising over sixteen thousand pounds for Cancer Research UK, which is which is just bloody mental. So it is. A huge thank you to the event organizers uh, and to our trainers, of course, as well as obviously the everyone who donated, everyone who came along to watch, everyone who shared statuses, everyone who spread it by word of mouth, every, like anything that anybody did uh, to raise awareness or raise money. Uh, you are the proper stars of the show because without, without your support, obviously, uh, it would have been pointless. It would have just been folk uh, betting the head off each other for no particular reason. And of course, you can't forget everyone who was involved in the fights themselves. It took a great deal of courage, uh, determination, and testicular fortitude, shall we say, uh, for everyone to, to get in that ring uh, and, and get in a scrap, essentially. So once again, just thank you. Thank you to everybody uh, for making it such an enjoyable, uh, once-in-a-lifetime sort of experience. The buzz that I got from it is something that I have never experienced before. It's from any sporting event I've ever been involved in. It was just, it just blew my mind. Would I recommend it? Absolutely. Uh, if, although next time I would like the training to be a wee bit closer to where I live, please. For someone who is kind of shy and introverted like myself, uh, it, it forces you to really come out of your shell and deal with situations uh, in the manner that you, that you may not be accustomed to, because if you don't, then there's a very good chance that you're going to get absolutely battered. I don't mean that in a kind of macho, toughen up sort of way, but it teaches you to kind of adapt and, uh, and take on situations head on uh, and go into it without fear, really. So if you do want to sign up for an ultra white collar boxing event, uh, they also do events like ultra white collar MMA. They do like stand up, ballroom dancing. It's a spectrum of things. But for the boxing itself, I'll leave a link in the description below where you can sign up. And if you would like to donate to my Just Giving page, uh, the, I will leave the link here. Uh, it should still be active. Uh, if you want to give anything to Cancer Research UK, uh, I would greatly appreciate it. They would greatly appreciate it. Or if you don't want to put it into my Just Giving page, I'm sure there are plenty of other ways uh, to, to donate to Cancer Research UK. I will leave their website in the description below. But that will do it for this video. Uh, something entirely different, I, I, I'm fully aware. Uh, we'll be back with the regular football-based tomfoolery uh, in the very near future. Back with the Master League, back with the Premier League live reactions, back with uh, with the end of the season coming up, we'll have a lot of debate and discussion uh, about, the, about the season just gone. So uh, there's a lot to look forward to on the channel. But once again, just before I go, thank you so much to everyone involved uh, in the event for making it such a great occasion and for making it so much fun. For everyone involved if you did enjoy this video do hit that like button do hit that subscribe button hit the bell notification it only takes a second out of your day to make ours so thank you once again for watching and we will see you in the next one